Yeshayahu, Isaiah 52. Awake, awake, put on your strength, O Sion. Put on your beautiful garments, O Yerushalayim, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into you the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake yourself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Yerushalayim. Loose yourself from the bands of your neck, O captive daughter of Sion. For thus says Yahuwah, Ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. For thus says Adonai Yahuwah, My people went down aforetime into Mitzrayim to sojourn there. And Ashur oppressed them without cause. Now, therefore, what have I here, says Yahuwah, that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them make them to howl, says Yahuwah, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in, rather, they shall know in that day that I am he that speaks. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that brings the Besorah, that publishes peace, that brings good news of good, that publishes Yahshua. That says unto Sion, your Elohim reigns. Your watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing. For they shall see eye to eye when Yahuwah shall bring again Sion. Break forth into joy. Sing together, ye waste places of Yerushalayim. For Yahuwah has comforted his people. He has redeemed Yerushalayim. Yahuwah has made bare at his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see at the Yahshua of our Elohim. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing, go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean that bear the vessels of Yahuwah. For ye shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight. For Yahuwah will go before you, and the Elohai of Yashadael will be your reward. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled, and be very high. As many were astonished at you, his visage was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. So shall he sprinkle many nations. The kings shall shut their mouths at him, for that which had not been told them shall they see, and... That which they had not heard shall they consider.